guess what? It's road trip time again. That's right, it's gonna be another cross country epic adventure. Only this time, unfortunately, it's not gonna be on the bike. I'm gonna to have to take the ute and tow a trailer across three and a half thousand k's of Australia from west to east and back again. And I'm gonna do it all probably in two weeks. I've got to go and see Dad, and he's going to part with a couple of his old motorcycles. And when I'm saying old, I'm talking these motorcycles are from the 20s, 1920s, and onwards. He's even got a few older ones there, some from the early 1900s. So the reason for this road trip is to pick those bikes up, bring them back here, and do some restorations on them. And that's going to be uh, some interesting videos right there. And I guess if you've ever wondered where your obsession for motorcycles came from or your passion for motorcycling, well, mine came from Dad, of course. When I was in my early years, when I was eight, nine years old, Dad was always mucking around with motorbikes, fixing motorbikes, pulling motorbikes apart, riding motorbikes. And he was heavily involved, of course, the local, local motorcycle club as well. And I remember the first time I ever rode a motorbike, which was a little Honda, oh, what was it, QA50, that's right, a little QA50. It's a two-speed with an auto clutch. And he rode, pushed me off down the hill on this thing, and I never looked back. Absolutely loved it ever since then. So I guess, well, the whole point of this video is that I bought a cruise control for the, uh, for the Hilux Workmate because uh, the workmates really known as the Povo Pack. It's the, basically the bare essentials of a Toyota Hilux Ute. And last time I drove the Ute across, no cruise control, me and my son drove across. And uh, yeah, you do 12 hours a day, 1,000 Ks on the road, and uh, it can get pretty tiring trying to hold a constant speed and just trying to hold your foot on the accelerator. So I went online and I had a look around to see what I could come up with. And I came up with an e-cruise control kit. And this video is just going to be about fitting that and seeing if we can get it to work. All right, here we go. Here it is, Toyota Hilux, 2005, 2015, 2.7 petrol and manual. Now this kit cost me 700 bucks and that sounds like a lot. But I did some research and this was the only one that was going to work. So let's have a bit of a look and see what comes in the kit. Some bolts. Like there for something. Oh yeah, a few cable ties, a uh, steering wheel switch, yeah, looks like uh, reasonably well made, bit of kit. Of course we're going to have to take the uh, airbag out I think to fit that, so that could be interesting. This is all supposed to be plug and play. Uh, another couple of little drill hole templates. Oh, that's for the steering wheel, yeah. That's for the uh, for the cruise control switch. And all of this will be to plug into the wiring loom. Yeah, man, oh man. Spaghetti City. Okay. Oh, there'll be a fuse in there. And of course, there's the actual unit itself. Oh, I could kind of see in there. 
And I'll tell you what, there's not much in there. I thought there might have been a couple of relays or something just to bypass the speedometer switches. Ah, oh, speedometer switches, what am I talking about? The accelerator potentiometers. I'll tell you what, there's not much in that. Oh, what else have we got? Okay, there's a switch there, that'll be clutch. That'll be the clutch switch to turn it off when you push the clutch in. There's actual driving instructions and I'm guessing this will be the, yeah, this is the installation instructions for it. All right, well, let's get into it. See how difficult this is gonna be. Okay, first things first, battery's disconnected. <laughs> so many wires. There's going to be a few more wires under there when I'm finished. Now this steering wheel, the cover's got to come off. And there's a couple of screws up under the back of the steering wheel there somewhere from memory. Okay, so after a quick uh, consultation with the internet, they're all a little bit different, but there we go. Under that plug there, there's a Torx bit. And that will just come out of there. It doesn't come all the way out by the looks of that. And there's one I prepared earlier. The other side here. Oh, that's a tight one. Now, once those are out, we should just be able to pull that uh, cover off there, like that. That reveals the airbag assembly. Now under there, there's a little clip and we just need a couple of little screwdrivers to pull that out. All right, once that pops up, like that. That will unplug and there we go, the earth lid drops off and there's your airbag uh, assembly. All right, according to the manual, it's quite extensive, the fitting manual. And all we have to do, this basically sticks out through the hole where we pulled that little side cover off to get the steering wheel out. So this has just got to go up through here with a bit of a wiggle and a jiggle. And as you can see, those two holes line up perfectly with the two holes in the steering wheel there. Nice, too easy. All right, we'll do it. We'll put the hole in the side cover and then um, 
We'll put the wires, I believe the wires have got to go in through this connector here. We'll just see which ones it's got to go through. Well, there's a couple of spare slots in that one as well, through the slip ring there. We'll sort that out and then we'll put the steering wheel back together. All right, this took me a bit of working out. This is your clip and this is where your two wires have got to go in. I could not get those wires in there, into the end. But it's a bit hard to see, I guess. See that little plastic tab there? That pushes in, locks into position. You've got to get your knife in there, dig that out just a little bit. See how it's just sitting slightly proud? Then push your wires in. And then you'll be good to go. Right, once you've got your two wires in there, push that little clip back in again. You'll hear it go in. That locks the wires into position. Whack it in the steering wheel. Done. Just like that. Right. We'll drill that hole in the little the cover for this and we'll fit that and we'll put it all back together. Rightio, 30 mil hole done by the template that came with the kit and that's just so it's big enough to slide over there. A bit of sanding and a bit of drilling and a bit of, uh, oh that sun's a bit gnarly isn't it? A bit of work with the hole saw to get that where we wanted it. Oh that's going to be a tight fit back in there. There we go. Oh that's nice, that's really neat. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. And refitting the airbag is uh, a piece of cake that only goes in the one way. And just push that, clip that back in, put your earth back on, fit it all back together. Just like that. Oh yeah, that's a bit squishy up under there, isn't it? Brake pedal switch. So that comes out. Well then this one here goes into the top of the brake pedal and then the one we took out of the brake pedal will plug into there. Like so. So one obviously set of wires is going off with the brake light and the others is going to the cruise control unit. Now the other switch we've got to put in is for the clutch. I don't know if you can see up under there, but that's where it's got to go. I'll have to work out how that's going to fit. Next job. Right, so accelerator pedal will be the next one. Now this is a drive-by wire accelerator pedal or throttle pedal. That means that there's no cable between here and the throttle butterfly on the inlet manifold. It just means that there's some variable resistors in here that sends a signal to the engine control unit. And we're going to intercept that. So we're going to plug into here, and we're going to plug one into here, and the other one will go to the ECU in here. Right here. So there's your line going to the ECU. That one there, that one's from the accelerator pedal. And when this unit is off, of course, it's just looking at the uh, control voltage from the accelerator pedal potentiometers. And when the cruise control's on, then the cruise control mimics the signal from the pedal and holds you at the uh, set speed. All right, there you can see the there you can see the uh, little micro switches in position. You can see that that'll be open, that'll be closed. And of course, as soon as that opens, it'll turn the cruise control off. All right, we'll get that wired in. That switch is wired in. Ready to go. Okay, we've just got to plug in the last couple of wires into the module here. And that just connects up to the steering wheel and the brake pedal and the clutch pedal. There we go, that's all in. Here we've got an indicator wire. I'm not sure exactly where that's going to go yet. But there is a couple of 
spots on the dash that does say cruise control. I might be able to wire into those later on. That's obviously the power fuse. Now this purple wire here has got to go right across. It's got to find its way over to the ECU. And we've got to have a look to see if we can see the connector that it goes into. Right, we've got to find this ECU. Let's get this out of the way. There it is. Now, that is Spaghetti City. Right, according to this, was that even going to focus on that? That's not doing too bad a job, is it? Connect the purple speed wire to the purple red wire in the harness to the ECU. The purple red speed wire is in the second plug from the top. Okay. There it is there. So what we might do, I think we'll just cut that and um, solder it will be the easiest. It'll be the easiest patch-in method. We just got to run that one. Okay, we've just got to run that wire across through the back of the heater there. When we've got that done, we'll show you. Right here, we've got the cruise control module. Now we're going to shove that, it's all hooked in, all hooked up, we're going to shove that down in there. Now we've got wires hanging loose everywhere here, but we're going to tidy those up. This is just a test run. And of course, here's our, that's the speed sensor wire coming in there. All right. All right, battery's back on. Here we are, we're out on my favorite piece of test road. Ignition's on. I got the little LED set up here just so I can see what's going on with it. Yep. Okay, it's powering up. Alrighty. Let's see if it's going to work. Okay, we're doing 60Ks or thereabouts. Green lights on to say that the cruise control is powered up. So we just got to set and hold down. Orange lights on. It's working. Oh, look at that. We're cruising. 60Ks. All right, we'll just try to um, we'll try the accelerate. Yep, there she goes. Oh, nice, yep. Not a problem at all. Okay, we're running her at uh, 110 k's. It's holding it real nice. Now we're coming up to this bit of a climb. This will be the test to see how well it uh, holds the speed and how well it pulls it back down the other side. I can feel it putting a, a little bit of extra throttle in it. 